All right, guys, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the belts on this uh, awesome 90s boombox. I wanna say, actually late 80s, I think. Yeah, late 80s, like really, really early 90s, maybe. This is the Fisher, uh, Fisher PH-W, 802 all right and it's pretty easy all these late 80s early 90s boom boxes are pretty easy to replace the belts all right this one sounds amazing really really loud all right so basically you're gonna remove five screws all right it's gonna be one, two, three, four, and five right here. Also, three more for the uh, for these uh, speaker contacts right here and the and the lining contacts. All right, just three. One, two, and three. All right. And then, oh wait, sorry, I forgot. There's one more right here at the bottom, all right? So that makes five, six, seven, eight, nine with this one, all right? As you notice, there's two screws right here. You just need to remove this one, all right? And then basically just pretty much just pull it towards you. Like that. Don't pull too hard though, okay? Because you gotta unplug three cables. These two right here for the power, the red one and the black one. You might take pictures if you want to, but uh, it says right there on the board. When you need to plug uh, Plug them back in. And then there's one more for the antenna right here. Alright. And then you can put this away. And just flip it over. And there's uh, the cassette. The cassette mechanism right there. So it, it took me like a like a few hours to uh, to clean it up because most of these boom boxes, I'm pretty sure on most of them uh, the the belts are gonna be melted. All right. So yeah, that's gonna take you a while, and then. Uh, to replace the belt, all right. So you gotta take, you gotta, you gotta remove this uh, leaf switch right here. That's one, right? That's so you can put in uh, this this belt right here, all right? These two, you don't need to remove anything. You can just ins install them like that. This one, you gotta install this one first. This is the one that you need to remove a couple of things. You need to remove the uh, the leaf switch. And if you don't wanna remove the whole thing, it's basically just the cables for the, for the leaf contacts, all right? For the leaf switches, sorry. There's one here. And there's one on the bottom, right there. And then, so pretty much you're gonna desolder these two cables for the for the other switch. Uh, the two blue ones, all right? Just remember where they go. You take it out of the, uh, the zip tight. 
and then basically you're gonna put the uh, the belt in the cables and then on the motor pulley and then around this pulley and then w once once you're done once you you chose the right belt then you can solder back the, the cables that's pretty much it all the other belts are pretty easy to install and i added i added some oil to the buttons because they, they, they were a little bit stiff and that's pretty much it everything else is working the rear is working uh i put a little bit of uh, contact cleaner on the recording bar right here and that's pretty much it just make sure you choose the right belts and then if you want to clean the obviously it's gonna need more work if you want to clean the, the heads and everything and all the mechanism and stuff you gotta remove a lot of screws all right this one right here this one that one on the bottom these two right here this one this one and these two right here but you gotta be careful you gotta be careful with the uh, with the springs right here those are for the door or if it's not too dirty you just open the you want to avoid all that work you just open the uh, cassette doors and then you clean it from here unless it needs deep cleaning which uh, this one this one needs this deep cleaning detailing and everything is a bit dirty but yeah that's how you replace the belts make sure uh sorry make sure you choose belts that uh they choose belts that they are not too flexible or too uh expandable all right they just need to be a little bit expandable stretchable uh but yeah that's how you replace the belts i already did i'm gonna show you that it's working one of the cas one of the cassette decks finds the songs automatically and the other one you gotta cue, cue them There you go, and then you just push it back into place.
myself. I forgot to show you this uh, drawing I, ma I made for how the belts are supposed to go. All right, could be a little bit confusing because it's four of them, and sometimes you don't know if the belt should be if it's just if it should be just one, you know, because it's got more grooves that you don't need, you know, like this 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 um, pulley right here, both of them. It has two groups, all right? But it goes on the one on the top. And you might think because it has another group, there's another belt that's supposed to go there. So yeah, I know it could be a bit confusing, but uh, it's just one belt right here. And then the other one for the motor that goes to the motor, to the pulley, and then from this pulley to the other one. And sometimes you might think that uh, it should be just one belt that goes from the motor to this pulley and then to this one and then back to the motor, right? But yeah, I know because uh, two of the belts, most of the belts were still uh, intact, in place, but melted. So yeah, that's how I know they're supposed to go this way. And it's basically the same with the other one. All right, and then I'm gonna get this screw on the bottom right here. This uh, this one on the bottom is from one of the 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 cassette mechanism brackets. All right, once, uh, once I finish uh, putting it back together, I'm gonna show you that it's working. And then on another future video, I'm gonna show you how it sounds and everything. And these boom boxes online, they're not that expensive. Obviously, just uh, with, just with the radio working, right? And then since uh, belts are really easy to replace, you can always get one and just replace the belts. This one is surprisingly easy because there are other uh, fisher, same style, but uh, really hard to replace the belts. to get the cable here.
this is. All right, tape deck one. Let's play right here. This was forward. Is rewind and this is pause. And this is deck number two. This is play. This is rewind. Fast forward and play with pause. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna make another video and I'm gonna show you um, how it sounds and uh, how it performs and everything. Um, but yeah, how's that, how, that's how you replace the belt on this. Uh, this is the Fisher PH-WA32 PH-WA82, all right? Uh, all right, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.